Have you ever been told the fastest way to max your heroes is to upgrade all of them at once? So I took it upon myself to see how long it really takes to upgrade all four. I started the stream with full elixir and dark elixir storages with loot from the day before to upgrade the Grand Warden to level 43 and the most expensive dark elixir expense, the Archer Queen, to level 70. This meant that I needed to steal 480,000 dark elixir in this stream for both the Royal Champion and the Barbarian King upgrades. Little did I know my sneaky goblin and super wallbreaker boost had expired. Alright, so let's get, let's get some things going on here. We need uh, more sneaky goblins. And then we're gonna actually we don't have sneaky goblins. Oh my gosh. Are you serious right now? Uh, <laughs> rip. All right. I thought they were still boosted <laughs> All right to the Treasury <laughs> That's embarrassing, right? Since I had to turn to my treasury loot to boost the sneaky goblins again for the stream, I decided to hold off on boosting the super wall breakers to preserve dark elixir for our third hero upgrade. This led to an army made up of sneaky goblins and jump spells, which proved seriously ineffective, along with my major lack of IQ in the mornings, resulting in some really bad battle blimp drop. Get this battle blimp above the dark elixir, so let's freeze this. Yep, 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 yep. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. That didn't happen at all, did it? <laughs> oh, come on! But I was able to self correct a little bit by finding a base with 11,000 dark elixir and a base with a massive hole in the center. <laughs> yeah, baby. So I decided to listen to the audience and adjust my spells to add some haste and invisibility and crack into a G Fuel energy drink for an IQ boost. We are going to rock star with the sour chug rug from G Fuel. Um, this might not be a good idea. I might like crash in an hour from now, but. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll do this together, okay? With an improved army and a temporary IQ boost, the second hour of the stream proved to be way better than the first. The battle blimp drops became more precise, and the haste and invisibility spells helped my sneaky goblin steal dark elixir so fast, you would almost think that Clash of Clans started to automatically fill my dark elixir for me. This progress, however, was quickly halted when I started to show signs of doing the pee pee dance. <laughs> you ever been sitting in class or work or something? And you're just like, oh my God, I gotta, I gotta go right now. He <laughs> started doing this right here, oh God, oh God. But after a quick toilet break, I was able to regain my composure and complete the grind to 220,000 Dark Elixir to upgrade my third hero. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> yeah, baby, we got it. 220. Going into the third hour of the stream, the thought of stealing another 260,000 Dark Elixir for the King upgrade started to really weigh on me. After two hours of non-stop farming, I felt as if I was slipping into a dimension of confusion and I thought that I was starting to see things that weren't really there. Someone in the audience recommended that I boost the super wall breakers and I caved, setting myself back by 25,000 dark elixir. So to avoid making any more bad decisions, I turned the stream over to my fiance, Fabi. Oh, look at me. <laughs> After my moment of weakness, I came back feeling refreshed and ready to grind out the remaining 171,000 Dark Elixir, but Clash of Clans has something else in store for us. Sorry, bro. So annoying. Following that dreaded 10 minute Game Force personal break, I was back in the fight for that magical 260,000 Dark Elixir. With 30 minutes counting down, I frantically attacked base after base until I racked in a whopping 158,000 Dark Elixir, and then this happened. So Fabi sprung into action with the cringiest of dance parties to cheer us up. After two back-to-back -back personal breaks, Clash of Clans decided to show me some mercy by resetting my village guard to three hours. Also, someone in the audience reminded me of some free dark elixir in the season pass. Free 10,000 dark elixir! I'm so happy! That free loot was just the motivation I needed to go from 168,000 dark elixir to what appeared to be the final raid of the stream. Sneaky's going in hot. Can they get it? And I told you the Yeti wouldn't make it, but <laughs> Goblins did. Oh my god, are you serious? 259 416. <laughs> <No>! <laughs> With empty dark elixir drills, I did one final raid to reach my goal and upgrade the barbarian king. King, it took us four hours and 56 minutes to max or put down all four of our heroes. 
thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It has been a pleasure grinding heroes with you guys.